It is currently 5.45 in the morning. channel guys if you're wondering why we're up so early we are starting the first day of our road trip if you're unfamiliar we live on vancouver island in victoria british columbia so pretty much anytime we want to go anywhere we got to take a ferry and the first ferry off the island is at seven o'clock which means we need to get there between six and six thirty in the morning one of the things i wanted to do on this trip is show you guys just how awesome bc is if you're not going off-roading we're actually going to be taking the highway that we took to get to the whipsaw trail which when we were driving out there in the jeep i was thinking this would be a really nice drive in the corvette so if everything goes as planned i'm going to upload this entire road trip series three consecutive days in a row. So make sure you subscribe because tomorrow is gonna be part two heading up through the Okanagan Valley to a town called Kamloops. And then part three, we're gonna be going through the back highways from Kamloops to Whistler, British Columbia. And Whistler is a phenomenal place to visit if you've never been there. So we've got a bit of a challenge. We ended up being parked right next to the wall. Now, lots of these other spots, you get a quite a big space next to you to open your door but we're in the vet and this is, the doors are huge and this is how much room this is about as far as I get the door open without hitting the wall it's gonna make for a real challenge getting out <laughs> get off the island the ferry is about 90 minutes long and uh, we'll get to the mainland around 8 30 in Vancouver area glasses are fogging like crazy because it's cool out here check this out from Victoria to Vancouver there's a couple other options for getting off the island we could go from Nanaimo to Vancouver or Nanaimo to North Van the smaller ferries we saw off the side of this boat go between the Gulf Islands so there's a I don't even know how many Gulf Islands are but there's a whole bunch of them but several of them have communities on them and so they have those smaller ferries running back and forth between Vancouver or Victoria to the smaller islands to take people to I think they maybe hold like a hundred cars or something the one we're on these are the big guys. I think they're like 600 or 700 cars. So there's a lot of vehicles on here. So we're just getting ready to uh, pull up to the dock on the Vancouver side, and then we're gonna be on our way. to the Whipsaw Trail. I thought it'd be fun to pull over and take a quick photo for Instagram. 
We're uh, just on Highway 3, which has been taking us from Vancouver East towards the Soyuz. And uh, so we stopped, there's tons of Jeeps here and other rigs. Maybe we'll go check some of them out for a minute. But the next section of highway, we're gonna be going through some more mountain passes. This first section was a lot of fun and uh, it's just a great drive. And we're gonna hit some wineries, I think, if we get there fast enough, uh, as we come into a Soyuz, cause that's kind of the start of wine country here in BC. So maybe, maybe they'll let us fly the drone around a winery. That'd, that'd be kind of fun. All right, we're gonna hop in. We'll see what these other rigs are doing. I think they're all hitting the whip saw. So look at everybody coming, coming here. <laughs> It is hot. <laughs> I don't know what the temperature was, but I think it's like mid to high 30s. I'm cooking just being out here for a few minutes. We don't even have the roof down on the vet. I was gonna say the Jeep. Uh, no, we get the AC on, air conditioned seats. It's really hot. Victoria Ferry to Princeton, $64. Now we do have to put 91 in the bed. I know you guys love the fuel mileage in the vlog. But 47 liters, probably should get a receipt. We're gonna take a little drive through this downtown Princeton here in uh, Southern British Columbia. It's a really nice little main street, so let's go check that out real quick. And then we're gonna get back on the highway and uh, finish off the stretch to a Soyuz. I think it's about another 100K or so. There's uh, just Jeeps everywhere. Obviously it's, uh, it's the long weekend, Labor Day long weekend and everybody's coming to hit the Whipsaw Trail. Cool little town to check out. Wouldn't be a bad place to stay if you wanted to come up here the night before hitting the Whipsaw and uh, wanted to stop over somewhere, spend the night, hang out. Uh, back on the highway. Austin. I guess this is kind of the Okanagan Valley. We're about half an hour out of a Soyuz where we're gonna get to tonight, but we decided to stop off at this winery, Seven Stones Winery. Uh, this is like big time wine country, the whole Okanagan Valley. And we've just been passing wineries all the way through. There's a lot of growing going on, really great uh, climate for growing. We got a couple bottles of wine. We had to do a little off-roading in the vet. That's okay, we'll wash it later. We got lots of bugs on it. And uh, we're gonna make our way to Soyuz, which is about 30 minutes from here, and we'll find somewhere for dinner. I got my dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all, looks like I gotta find dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Got to wrap up the vlog as we came into a Soyuz. Kara and I just had an awesome dinner at this little cuisine bistro here that we found. It's just a great little spot. Tomorrow we're going to be heading out of a Soyuz and north through the Okanagan Valley and the lakes and the roads are just awesome and there's wineries and we're going to be heading up and finishing our day at Kamloops and then the vlog after that we're going to be going up to Whistler which is just 
just some amazing drives that you guys are definitely gonna wanna check out, come along with us. I hope you enjoyed today's adventure getting here. This first day was really awesome, we had a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, as always guys, leave a like, I do appreciate it. If you wanna see those next couple vlogs, make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you in the next upload.